button a couple seconds before I meant to because somebody was harassing me that they weren't seeing it yet. So here it is. Anyways, um, I am going to be streaming today, or this, this particular stream, doing some alcoholing, which I haven't done in quite a while. So, just removing the price tag there. I was getting a little bit prepped, but there's not a whole lot that needs to be prepped, basically. I have my alcohol in many bottles, so I've got this one, I've got uh, this one, which has about the same size tip as that, but it's just easier to manage. Assuming I get the lid off, there we go. Yeah, it's about the same size. And then I just found this bottle when I was looking through my supplies. It's got this needle nose, which is nice. It lets me drop like a drop at a time, whereas these kind of go crazy. I've got my mister. And I've got the alcohol blending solution out. I'm not sure if I'll use it. We'll see. We'll see how things go, as always. Um, so that's all of my alcohol. Today, what I wanted to do was actually do some work with uh, black paint, not black paint, uh, the black paper. Um, and so for that right now, I'm using this Tim Holtz alcohol ink cardstock. Um, and I might use a couple. So I am very not ready. I still have pigment in all of my fingernails and half of my hands from previous um, previous streams. So over here I've got my case with all of my alcohol inks in it. So let's see if that will stay perfect. And then I've got just on hand uh, my air um, squeezy thing, whatever it's called. I've got a whole bunch of different brushes. I've got my splatter brush, which I still haven't used, but I think I might try out today. I've got some Q-tips, some Dobbin cotton, all kinds of stuff. So um, I have not a huge clue about what I'm going to do, but one of the things, one of the reasons why I decided to do this today, it's been on my mind for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks ago was Diwali, and when I think of that, um, from what I've seen, there's a lot of bright colors um, being used in, in a whole bunch of different ways. I know that, I don't know if it's for Diwali or not, but one, one of the things I've seen is um, where people, there's like a huge celebration and there's all these like color, <laughs> color bombs <laughs> thrown at people where it's just like splotches of color that end up and they end up covered in all different kinds of bright colored um, powder, I think. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, and I'm sure somebody will correct me later, which is perfect. Uh, so anyways, I was thinking kind of like fireworks and colors being thrown around. And so what I wanted to do was do something based on that. So when you're using the black, um, I should have got out my old thing. You, when you just put down a regular color, let me see. Is this regular? Yeah, this is a regular color. So I'll just show you quickly. Oof, I haven't used these, so they're all sort of stiff. Um, I just put a bit there. And then of course, it's already on my hands. Um, when you just put a bit of color down, let's see if I can grab some of this. And, sorry, I just put it in the middle here. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold it up in a second. Um, let me see if I put this, you have to look really close to see the, the dots and I don't know if you can or not, um, but they're not going to show up very well in here. So what we need to do is use, um, white, I'll put white down first and from that we can put color on top of the white and then the color will show up nice and bright on top of the paper. Now that's what I was taught in, in the one workshop that I did, but what I started thinking about and actually on the back of this it actually even says, um, ideal for use with alcohol inks, alcohol pearls, and mixes. Now granted, alcohol inks, like I said, if you just try putting the ink down, it's not going to do a whole lot without the white. But I started to wonder about the pearls because, where's my pearls? Here they are. The pearls are a bit different, right? So these are the ones we've got to shake. Good. And 
let's just do a bit of testing again still so oh that's I don't know if you can see that just shimmering on its own it's got some movement still happening so I'm hoping if I try now putting one of these on here it's gonna be a lot brighter than just putting yeah so it's definitely different than the um, just plain pink oops that's already the just plain pink that's already dried up let me put a oops a dot there to get some more ink off of there and do a swoosh like I did so definitely I think the the pearls could show up a bit on their own um, and then it also says mixatives, which is um, like this silver. Uh, so I think the same thing will happen with this. So um, having done all that, I'm um, actually let's just let's just see. I'm gonna put a drop of silver right there and. Another sneak toothpick, and yeah, I mean that's silver. You can definitely see that. Um, so the the point I'm trying to make is the inks themselves won't show up on here because there's not something to help them show they're they're essentially see through. You barely can see them at all on the black. But mix them with white, and we'll be able to see. I guess I can show you that since this is sort of turned into a a swatch. I'm not 100% sure that I actually even needed to um, shake that, but put the white down and grab some of that. So you'll see. And actually, that's kind of cool. We've put the white on top of the pink that's there. That's something we haven't tried yet. And it automatically brings it more to light because it started to mix with the pink. Um, but you can see that that's why, like, if I put just white down over here by itself, that is going to be okay. And then, can I still pick up some of this? And then now when we put the pink there, it's going to show up. So those are sort of the different ways that are the inks that I have are going to react with this. And that all being said, um, that's a hodgepodge of nothing that <laughs> I actually want to make. Not a hodgepodge and of something. So um, first I'm going to just do something with the white and the regular inks. I'm just going to leave that stuff there. I'm going to put the white. Um, this is definitely a color I want to use, this pink. So that's the Signorita Magenta. Um, do I have a nice bright yellow? Sun bright yellow, that sounds good. I'll just confirm it with my other one is dandelion. Hmm, well, I don't have my color charts nearby. Um, but I, I want a bright yellow, so that sounds about right. And Valencia sounds like a good orange. And those are kind of the colors I was thinking about using uh, for this one. Um, yeah, so in no particular order, I'm just going to start sort of playing with stuff. So first thing I'm going to put down some white, maybe just sort of drop it around. Um, something I was curious about is, you know, we've done the air blowing where it's this way, but I wonder what happens when we air blow just sort of straight down. Uh, oops, don't actually touch it. So that's one way of moving some stuff around and it's behaving again always differently than what I'm expecting. And I think I might end up using a brush with this. One thing I don't love is you can kind of tell where I dropped the light. But maybe not so much and that'll get fixed eventually. So now let's drop some other colors on. Actually, we know what the pink looks like, so why don't we skip ahead and use a different one. Let's use the orange, the Valencia. Alright, and oops, that was a bit more than I wanted. And so you can see like right there where it's gone off the white, um, how 
it, uh, gosh, I'm getting everything dark, how you can't really see it. And the light's kind of trying to mix with it, and it will. Uh, let's see how the yellow does. Let's see, put that one over here. That's definitely a nice bright yellow that I want. Um, all right, let's throw the pink down. Let's go over here. Oops. Actually, maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe seeing as we know it'll pick up in different places. Let's just kind of throw some color down and then let it mix. Oh man. I don't even tell that just soaked right in. You can't even tell where those were, but I bet you I can actually on the right angle I can. Um through that well sort of let it do its thing. Let's put some more white down. So now I'm going to put white where I think one of those was and we'll see if the orange picks back up again like it did before. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, yeah, see there it's, it's slow but it is. It's picking up. So this is as always not what I was intending to do and just sort of ended up happening. Um, it's really subtle though because it's just that one's soaked right in. Uh, more light, more light, more light for here, here. Let's just, you know, throw some light down. Um, let's try something else. Let's switch that around a bit. What happens if we shake side to side? Does that do anything? Not really. So. I'm just gonna let it kind of go where it wants. A little bit here, a little bit there. Um, we definitely need some more pink, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down here though. And let's try. I have yet to try this splatter brush, so I guess let's see how it works. I'm a little afraid, but I'm going to do it the wrong way. Oh yeah, look at that. That <laughs> makes my finger really dirty. Uh, but that gives that impression of those like splatter bombs that I was definitely thinking of. So that's kind of cool. Um, I need to wash it again. It's too much. Oh, the baby wipes down too much. Fine. I'll get it off with alcohol later. Um, that is super fun though. And oops, and I put that down. I mean, we could even, I don't, well, I guess, nah. We could make lines with this. That's kind of cool. I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to do lines on it. Oh, yeah. Maybe not in this color. But that could give some neat. Um, sort of, what am I trying to think of the word, um, fireworks effects. Hmm. Check that out. I'm trying to come out. Just trying to clean this brush off. So much pink got absorbed into there. Way more than what we needed. So I'll have to figure out a better way to do this. For sure, um, but it's definitely soaked up the pink really well. Um, let me see. Actually, I don't even want all of that. It's too much. There. Let's see what happens when I keep doing that. Sometimes learning how to clean up is half the battle. So definitely. Um, gosh, it's come right down onto the handle now. Definitely soaked this up. Um, well, I think it'll be interesting how we end up using this later. Letting some of that oops, pink dry. Oh, that'll clean up itself in a second. I um, definitely want, let's see, we need some more light down here and need to put some of the orange. Let's connect that. 
Maybe then let's just let this kind of move around a bit. Kind of trying to go into places it's already been, which is fine. Just kind of dropping that in a couple different places. And I do want to not have black um, color on the black, but yay. It's doing what it's going to do. I think these colors work really well together, though. I will say that. Um, if we want to put a bit of alcohol on somewhere, maybe this yellow is going to be spread out and played with. And oh yeah, right there too. Like this has a lot of built-up color. Like, in a couple of different directions. This is definitely not turning out anywhere close to what I was hoping for it, but when does it ever, right? When does it ever? I think what I might end up doing too is putting some of those pearlescent ones in here, uh, the pink in particular. Uh, where did the orange just like disappeared? To drop there. And what if I like, yeah, give it a slash from here. And see, because it's mixed with the white, when it goes off, it's not going off on its own, it's like off onto the black, it goes with the, uh, what am I trying to say, with the color. So, I just I don't like when I end up with those dark circles like that. Alright. The splotchy colors from the splatter have worked out really well. Um, so let's bring in, sorry, that's the purple, so like I said, we've got this, uh, Intrigue is the, the metallic purple, let's just give it another shape. And put some up here, maybe some over here, oh, I just love how it shimmers all on its own because it's just going and doing stuff, and it doesn't need, you know, it can go off all by itself, wherever it wants to go. <laughs> oh, let's do some misting of alcohol. That's what I want to do next. Just kind of let it all intermingle. Will it let me do this at all? Nope. Okay, time to get out a brush. Mm, I don't know, do I want a brush for this one? Let's see. What brush? I want a sort of skinny brush if I do, like this one maybe? I think that might be too skinny. What else do I have? One of those could be good. Dollar stores can't go wrong. I just need something cheap. Uh, and I am happy to report that he who said he could not see this feed is now watching said feed. Because now it's on. Hmm. Have I used this brush before? I don't love it. Well, I'm going to use it anyways. Um, I'm going to just throw down some alcohol. And just sort of see if I can get some of, oh, like the way the white is, the white is interesting how it does, or in this case does not, want to come get pulled out. Uh, throw some more misty alcohol on it, see if that helps. Get this really, no, that's kind of gross. Looks like a horse's tail, <laughs> not the look I was going for. So I think we're going to not use this brush for starters. Put that off to the side there. wonder if I can... This still has pink on it. Oh man, what if I put some orange in this alcohol? And then just...
you kind of mean? Yeah, I think that's working. And again, just getting my whole hand totally totes um, covered in alcohol. It's just crazy how much soaked up in that first batch that I did. I put too much. Oh well. Live and we learn, right? Try, see how it goes. I really do not like this. So I'm going to do that. And put a bit more over here. And let's throw some more of this. Woo! Squirted that a little too hard. So that's interesting. Look at how that's like making cells there. Very interesting how it interacts with the white on its own. I love when it makes the little fingers. That's like my favorite thing. It's a very dark. What do we need over here? Is this part? It's kind of not finished drying. It's kind of not wanting to move far, but it is. Mm -hmm. Bit of orange down here, a bit of yellow over there. Sounds like a good plan to me. Oops. Bit of white on top of that yellow splotch. I don't want it going off the page. Yeah, this just doesn't come to a match. This orange, do I have another orange? Maybe more, I think. What's the, oh, tangerine. Tangerine sounds like it should be nice and bright. So some, oh, tangerine is not nice and bright. <laughs> Oops, and this one is just another dark orange. Well, I mean, it's. Ooh, what if I put yellow on top of the orange? So, another thing, you know, with this particular piece, I didn't put alcohol down on the paper at all first, so that um, is also limiting how much things are moving around. So, I don't know. Where did my pearl go? Did I put it back? I did. Mm -hmm. Let's put a drop there, a drop over here. See how that all goes. Kind of doesn't. Yeah. I don't know. I might stop on this one. Uh, there's a bit too much white here, but then again, also not enough white. So I'm going to put that, let that scrunch around, and hmm, yellow. Let's see how that goes. The whole thing splits over there. See if I can. Nope. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bit too much e white right there. So could I? I wonder if I could sort of splatter with this brush that I just gave up on. What would that do? Yeah, it would. So 
I'm gonna try. Let's get some yellow down and grab it up with this. And of course, let me get my finger dirty, but it's okay. No, it's not really. I mean, if it is, it's not doing it very well. That's fine. Clean this again. Go through lots of paper towels when I'm, or napkins in this case. When I'm doing the alcohol ink. Just gotta kind of clean. I mean, I guess you don't have to clean as you go along because you could always reactivate the alcohol on here, but. Um, Yeah, watch how much I'm just not going to care. There we go. Um, yeah, I feel I don't... How does it look like there's a bit of blue? Well, that was weird. Um, I'm just going to put yellow right down there. Right in the middle. Let's see what it does. Maybe move it around. So I can... Oh yeah, that works. It just needs to get rid of some of that white that was just... All by itself. Uh, I've got this big puddle of alcohol on my wrist wants to go over here, so let me just lay that down. Okay, well, like it or not, and I'm still not sure, uh, especially because I've got pink spots up there but nowhere else now, um, but I'm gonna call this one for now. I'm gonna leave that as it is. Um, that was definitely interesting. So I'm going to throw this one off to the side so that it can dry. And I'm going to do another one again with the black. And this time maybe I'll put some, I don't know if it would be beneficial to have, yeah, instead of Instead of me only telling you half sentences, let me actually finish a thought here in just one second. How did I get it? Oh, from the back of the other, from the original piece. I had some silver. All right. So, um, I was trying to tell you something. What was it? I'm going to clean all this up first while I think about it. Um, and I used to have gel and sanitizer for this, uh, but seeing as I haven't done this in so long, I was not prepared and did not have my hand sanitizer ready to go, so I'm using alcohol to try to clean it up, at least a little bit. Let's see if this baby wipe will help even just a little, yeah. Even if I don't have it all, just so that I've got down here kind of cleaned up. All right. So for this one, the thought that I was having is I'm going to put something down on top. Now, I said alcohol before, but I mentioned I also have this alcohol blending solution. Um, so this is ethanol, glycol, ethers, and isopropanol. So it's mostly alcohol already. Um, but it's got something in it so that instead of like where the alcohol makes the color sort of, it dilutes the color. Um, for this, ah, that came out far too fast. Uh, this actually will help the color spread, but not dilute it, um, or at least not as much. And I think for this one, I'm going to put these colors away and see which mixatives and such we have that I could use. Uh, so orange goes to that's the Valencia. That goes there. Sorry, just keep in my alcohol mix in that general order. Oh, I don't think I want the white right now. So I mentioned this mixative of the silver. Got that. Uh, this is also silver. These are just different um, brands. If 
but since I got that one out, I'm going to use, actually, let's see if there's a difference. So this is that one that I already tried. This one, either it doesn't have a ball in it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it is really good in stuck. Okay, so let's see how this goes compared to that one. Hmm. This is a bit of a darker silver, actually. So, and it does that shimmery thing like the you can still see the pink is still shimmery too uh so yeah i think i'm gonna keep both of them out that's still a really good shape um then i've got a rich gold and another one called foundry which is an alloy not a mixative so i'm not sure if it will go in of this paper or not, but let's see. Let's just first see how the gold goes. Okay, so I mean, I'm not somebody who loves gold in general, and I wouldn't normally mix gold and silver, but I think it could be okay for this particular piece, just sort of seeing, having just metals mixed together. Oh, that shimmery stuff is just making me excited. All right, let's see how this foundry This one looks. Okay, so the difference between the mixative and the alloy, if I recall correctly, is the mixatives are mixed and they'll sort of interact and move around, whereas the alloy will try to group itself together. Um, so I think it could actually be interesting seeing how they all play together. And what is that says so black? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to play with these, and like I said, first I'm going to put um, some of this alcohol blending solution down. So this is not like the white, you're not going to see it, it's, um, well, like I just showed you accidentally on, on here, it's clear just like the, uh, just like the inks themselves, so... <sighs> This is different than the UPO paper that I'm used to working with. So even though I've just put it down, it's, uh, it's um, seeping in to the paper really quickly. Um, but I hope it'll still help with letting these inks move around a bit more. So let's start with the gold my least favorite and yeah let's just like see if I can splotch it around that works it's really pretty I might just do splotches and see how everything plays um it's pretty I don't know if you can see and I don't want to risk lifting it up but there's some specks they're starting to like float away from the middle of the page or of the spots right so they're like breaking out so that's like the mixatives they kind of come out the alloys they come into each other so let's see i think we're gonna get some really pretty things though drop 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 drop, drop. oops a couple extra drops um and again the difference between the ranger and the jacquard um pinata these are not quite so speckled not quite so moving around uh, over here we've got similar to the gold so drop drop you can see i mean look at that it's so cool i mean hey why why don't we have them interact with each other right why not is then the alloy next one that I haven't done so that's really cool I'm going to do some more gold interacting here and I'm really not sure that the um, that the alcohol blending solution that I put down is making any kind of difference um, 
but I definitely think this is pretty gosh darn cool. And what would happen if I put a silver in the middle of the gold? That's kind of cool. There's a lot of stuff going on right there. Um, there's that alloy. I'm going to put some alloy in the middle of the gold. And <laughs> in the middle of this silver with this watch on it. Now, the big question, should I attempt to move this around or just let them sit as thoughts? You know I can't resist. Oh, you know it's really interesting. I'm gonna just flip it real quick. You can see the spots, This the liquid has soaked all the way through. So this is definitely, this is cardstock. It's been specially designed to keep the alcohol ink on. Um, but it's not UPO, it's not plastic paper, which is something else that we'll do in a minute. Just regular white. I don't have, um, I don't have black. This is really cool though, like the gold and the silver mixing in together. Um, all right, let's see what happens if we just start squirting, squirting this, that, and the other thing. And I'm just going to use the metallics on here. I'm not going to do anything else color-wise, but I'll just keep playing. Letting things mix, letting them mingle, letting them move around. And we'll just end up with whatever we end up with, as always. Um, oops, that one came all the way off the paper and all the way on to um, way over here, a couple inches away. And let's see, we've got these poor dots over here all by themselves. So let's put a bit of that. Let's put, I think this poor silver is missing out a bit. So maybe, oops, didn't mean to put that on top. But look at that, we were able to separate it out. There's some silver, there's some gold. Mix them together, we have bronze. Maybe, maybe not. That's not, that's not how metal colors work. Okay, so what will happen if I put, just sort of sprinkle that around. And then I can see that, of course, where it was um, just on the paper, it went back in again. But where it's been on um, on the color, it definitely helped make the color. Ooh, that's some interesting, getting some textures even with this. And I think it's because of the alcohol blending solution. I'm put some more. Put some over here. Just the shimmering. So cool. Oh yeah, this is happening. This, I think this was $9, whatever it was, has already paid for itself. You know, I actually use this when I'm taking pictures of my different um, art pieces and, um, and my different resin and whatever else I have. I've got this little light box thing that I got off of um, Amazon. And so it comes with different colors, but I'm using the white always. And uh, of course it picks up any of the hair. And, and as you know, I've got dogs and their hair likes to go everywhere, um, including getting into that oops, light box. So I have started using this to just give my light box a spritz and make sure that any hairs that were in there have been removed. Um, 
Do you know what? This has gone off the edge and I'm okay with that. And I think what I might actually do, uh, should I? What I was thinking I might actually do is just make this all like edge to edge. But I kind of feel like, no, I don't want to do that. But I also feel like this hole has to go. And I think we've got enough. Actually, I think it's the alloy that's doing that clumpy bits. Oops, <laughs> I totally didn't mean to do a circle there, but that's what happened. And I mean, that part's almost a white silver, and this is like more of a dark silver, gray silver. Uh, so we definitely don't, yeah, that's gotta have some more stuff in it. We can't have that being just a blob of silver. Do, do, do. Come on, don't be just a circle. There we go. I don't know. Is it considered art if I just go all willy nilly as opposed to doing things with intention? Do you have to have intention when you're doing art? Or is this just being able to let go, which is another form of art? I don't know. I am not the right person to ask, but. I am going to consider this art, because I say so. So, let that be a lesson for you. If I can call this art, whatever you're doing that you may or may not know or consider to be art, is probably art. I mean, I am making some decisions like too much gold over here, too much silver over here. Uh, I'm wishing I had another alloy. Hmm, what do we think? I feel like I constantly need just a little bit more gold in places because we have three silvers and only one gold. However, being that gold isn't my favorite in the first place, is that a bad thing? What would happen if I just let that bleed out? Who knows? We're not going to find out. <laughs> All right, that's got some gold there. I'm not sure what happened down here. Too much alcohol solution, possibly. Um, it's all right, though. Let's see. Everything else that I feel like we're doing for this. Do we need a touch of gold in here? Probably. How did I get that on the hands there? spritz. I don't want to be touching things and having gold come off. All right. A touch of gold here. One. Just a splotch. Yeah, some of these places that just have like build up. How's that for intention? I am squirting just straight down with the air pump to get that texture. Now, the trick is will that texture, I guess not the trick, the question is will that texture still be there once everything has dried? Or am I just getting my wrist muscles some exercise? All right. 
What do we think? Good, not good. Eh. Good enough. How about that? Good enough. And I think I'm actually going to call it. I'm not going to do um, another piece on white. I'm just going to stick to the two black ones today and uh, see how they go and see what feedback I get on them. So that's it for today. This was an alcohol ink one. Hopefully I'll be doing some more of these um, in the near future as well as some other things. As always, you can find finished works on Instagram, sometimes semi-finished works, and you can always find me live streaming on Twitch or on YouTube, and then these videos are always up on YouTube on my channel, Christina's Creations. So thanks for watching today, and have a good night.